Someone is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Said it's mom. I just wanted to double check everything's okay. You've been very quiet lately. You better still be taking your meds. And don't miss your next appointment. We pay good money for those sessions. Just hope you come back home soon. It's been so long, your accent will probably have changed. It will be nice to finally meet Sarah this time. Anyway, gotta go. Love you. Bye. So, Sid, has everything been okay? Your mum said that you got a new part-time job as a butcher, so that's something. How's things with Sarah? I hear it's your anniversary coming up. Are you planning anything special? Why do I need to come here? Sid, we talked about this. No. I don't think you ever have. I've been coming to these sessions ever since I was 11. I don't think you've ever listened to my side of the story. Sid, I'm not against you. I'm on your side. I'm listening. If you can explain your side of the story to me. It was... during the summer. I was just like any other kid. Messing around playing about the garden, causing trouble. They used to be quite mischievous. I got grounded a lot for breaking my little sister's doll. My brothers used to do the same. But on this day, I, I swear, something happened. Someone was talking to me. Were these voices in your head? No. It was one of the dolls. Reach for the sky. I was about to torture it. But it came alive. Right in front of me. I know that sounds crazy, but I swear, it felt real. Sid. You think I'm crazy? No, Sid, I don't. I don't think you're crazy at all. You were just a child. It's completely normal for things to get mixed up. Maybe what you thought was real wasn't. It could have been your imagination or a dream. But I swear, it can't have been a dream. It felt real. Look, I think we made some really good progress today. It'd be good to move forwards. Maybe try and forget this memory ever happened. Try and look to the future. You're still young. It'd be a real shame for this to take control of your life. Hey, just calling to let you know that I booked the table for tomorrow at 7 p.m. Make sure you wear something smart. And look, honestly, I've been really worried about you. And I just want to let you know that I'm here if you ever need to talk. Anyway, I'll... I'll let you go. Don't be late.
I see that. Make sure you remember to take out the trash, huh? Mr. Cease, please. I need this job. If you just let me explain everything to you, then... Oh, you're fired, kid. Don't come back! Hello? Yeah, sorry, um, something came up. Well, you're here now, so let's just try and enjoy the rest of the evening. So, I've been thinking, I haven't really got to know your mom or your family yet, and we've been dating for six years. I feel like I don't know you well. I don't know, I, I feel like we just keep drifting apart. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, fine. This is the problem, you're not. You don't communicate with me, you you never let me in. Why Look! I'm fine, alright? Just get off my back. I'm sorry. I've had a rough day, I... I got let go at work. What? Why? It was just to do with the manager or whatever. But it's alright, I'm... I'm gonna find a better job with better pay and... I'll land on my feet. And you're right. I'll, um... I'll find a day for you to meet my mum. You see? You just have to let me in. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Things are going to be better from now on. I promise. What's that? Oh. 
it's nothing. I just thought it would be kind of cute for our anniversary. <laughs> I saw it in the local antique store. The guy said that it's rare. I don't know if vintage is your thing, but I remember you telling me that you used to collect a lot of retro. Where did you get this? I just told you the antique store was- <laughs> Sid! Get this thing away from me now. Sid, what is wrong with you? It's just a toy! You don't know that. Look, he does. And he's staring right at me. Oh my god. Honestly, I can't do this anymore. Sarah, please! You don't understand. No, you don't understand. I have been fighting so hard for this relationship. And I just... I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry, it's... It's over. Sarah, please! You can fool me. No. You might take away my job. My relationship. My childhood. But you're not going to take away my life. Not anymore. I'm not crazy. I know you're real. So talk. <sighs> Fine. I'll make you talk. this. Reminds me of old times. I remember this. <laughs> so, do you want to do it the easy way? Or the hard way? Fine. Have it your way. Maybe this will make you talk. I'm going to give you to the count of three. When I reach three, I'm going to burn your fucking face off. One. Two. Three. You see, 
right there. It moved. You can see literally exactly in that shot. His arm moves. You might want to rewind a little bit, but you can see he's alive. Sid. You don't believe me. You're just like everyone else. I'm going to have to call the hospital. No! You need help. They'll be able to help you more than I can. You don't understand. This is not negotiable. I'm sorry. They're alive! They're all alive! You got a friend in me.